The Justice Department on Friday disclosed an Iranian murder-for-hire plot to kill Donald Trump, charging a man who said he had been tasked by a government official before this week's election with planning the assassination of the Republican president-elect. Investigators learned of the plan to kill Trump from Farhad Shakeri, an accused Iranian government asset who spent time in American prisons for robbery and who authorities say maintains a web of criminal associates who participate in Tehran's assassination plots. Shakeri told investigators that a contact in Iran's paramilitary Revolutionary Guard instructed him this past September to assemble a plan within seven days to survey and ultimately kill Trump, according to a criminal complaint unsealed in federal court in Manhattan. The official was quoting by Shakeri as saying that we have already spent a lot of money and that money's not an issue. Shakeri told investigators the official told him that if he could not put together a plan within the seven-day time frame, then the plot would be paused until after the election because the official assumed Trump would lose and that it would be easier to kill him then, the complaint said. Shakeri is at large and remains in Iran. Two other men who the authorities say were recruited to participate in other assassinations, including of a prominent Iranian-American journalist who has been targeted in murder-for-hire plots, were arrested on Friday. There are few actors in the world that pose as grave threat to the national security of the United States, as does Iran, Attorney General Merrick Garland said in a statement. The plot, with the charges unsealed just days after Trump's defeat of Democrat Kamala Harris, reflects what federal officials have described as ongoing efforts by Iran to target U.S. government officials, including Trump, on U.S. soil. Last summer, the Justice Department charged a Pakistani man with ties to Iran in a murder-for-hire plot targeting American officials. Iranian operatives also conducted a hack and leak operation of emails belonging to Trump campaign associates in what officials have assessed was an effort to interfere in the presidential election. Intelligence officials have said Iran opposed Trump's re-election, seeing him as more likely to increase tension between Washington and Tehran. Trump's administration ended a nuclear deal with Iran, reimposed sanctions and ordered the killing of Iranian general Qasem Soleimani an act that prompted Iran's leaders to vow revenge. Trump spokesman Stephen Chung said the president-elect was aware of the assassination plot and nothing will deter him from returning to the White House and restoring peace around the world. Drones belonging to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry's Security Service and Special Operations Forces launched an attack on Russia's Tula region on the night leading to November 9. The Ukrainian media reported this with reference to a source within the Ukrainian Security Service. The attack targeted the chemical plant in the city of Alexin. The enterprise that is owned by Rostex Corporation produces necessary materials, ammunition and gunpowder for the Russian military-industrial complex. According to the reports circulated by local telegram channels, the attack was launched at around 3 in the morning. Apart from the chemical plant, Ukrainian drones also moved towards the mechanical plant. As a result of drone strikes, an explosion occurred in the territory of the chemical plant. Fire engines have been brought to the area. No casualties have been reported. According to Russian reports, an air defense system was activated and that the drones were shot down. Гандоны жужжат нахуй. Ты прикинь, что за хуйня.
Tschüss.